everyone. I'm G1 Letter with G1 Insights, and this is your Life and Love Energy for two months for the month of September and for the month of October. There is a deep reason why, my love, because the month of September is going to be so full of blessings and so full of like transformations and so many wonderful things happening for each and every one of us for many different reasons. And I got to be honest, I don't know about you, but I'm going to be busy. I don't really have time to do a lot of um, videos for you guys. So I want to make sure that I get all these reasons readings out so that way you guys can have all the clarity that you need to move forward for the next few months of the year guys the month of october is going to be also full of surprises but it won't be as unique as the month of september september is the month where we want to just kind of dive in take action it's harvest season i don't know about you guys but i get super excited during harvest season like as soon as i know that the harvest moon is approaching i'm like oh yeah i get super excited i get happy i do things that i shouldn't even be doing like i probably spend extra money go shopping for no reason like i just be blessing the universe because i want the universe to just like bless me in return so i simply am always excited during harvest season for some reason amazing transformations happen at that time Okay, so Taurus, this is your life and love energy. So I will possibly talk about life, you know, your general issues, your, you know, your finances, your health, your wealth, um, how you're taking care of yourself, self-love and your spirituality. I will talk about love itself. It, if it actually does come out, I will talk about it, okay? Um, this is a general reading, so please take it to where you need it to be. If it doesn't resonate, please check your other planets, guys, in your birth chart, like your moon, your rising. Also check out your Venus, your Jupiter, your Mars. All those things are super, super important, okay? A lot of people, a lot of astrologers really just kind of focus on the basics. Your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus. But your Jupiter and your Venus, and your your mars all those things matter your mercury all of that matters in your birth chart so if you do not know how to find that i'm your girl okay i will help you but until then let's move on because i know you ain't got that much time because you are planning some deep stuff this season you have really been working and working and working Taurus, and i feel like as if you have manifested a lot of things okay including some type of competition okay so taurus let's get into it <laughs> so we are starting off with some animal energy just like i've done in the month of june july and in the month of august i have dealt with animal energy so i'm going to share that with you funny thing is about these animal cards is that these two cards fell out so I'm gonna ask you guys to look at them and tell me which resonates with you more. Because a part of me felt like, hmm, well, maybe I should shuffle them again and see which energy is the strongest. And when I tried to do that, this card kept flying out, the lion, okay? And this one is the eagle. For some of you that may have Leo in your birth chart, for some of you that may have scorpionic energy in your birth chart. It may not have anything to do with that, but I'm just throwing it out there. So let's see which energy is strongest, okay? I'm gonna read both of them to you and then you can let me know which one resonate with you the most, okay? So we have the lion energy here. It says loyalty, courage, and leadership. Taurus, you are being guided to take back your power oh yeah you are a powerful co-creator with limitless inner strength and confidence when you allow your voice to be heard the people around you will listen it's almost as if you're commanding attention this season for a lot of you you may not realize that you're commanding attention not demanding you're commanding. Like, as soon as you walk into a room, it's like, oh, who's that? Oh, ooh. 
like don't be surprised if everybody's throwing themselves at you this season okay i feel like it's an earth thing all earth signs are going through this phase of reju you know that's not the word okay <laughs> all of you guys are going through this period of regeneration okay i guess all of you are going through this phase of transformation you a lot of you are going through this phase of stepping into your leadership taking your life back taking your power back feeling more confident i know when i did capricorn's reading in virgos i know it was very similar so you know i think that is an earth thing that you guys are doing are you guys in cahoots trying to make this happen who knows now for those of you who had this other energy here can i please point something out to you <sighs> god do you see what i'm seeing here leadership 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 spirituality clarity loyalty and courage spirituality and courage courage and leadership leadership and spirituality hmm who's to say you might come off like the lion but you're leaving the rest of the year kind of like the eagle oh yeah there's a transformation that is happening so in a sense this is similar to scorpionic energy and so for you Taurus, i feel like this is most likely to happen in the month of october okay now for the september moment you are dealing with a lot of this energy and can i also say you are the first zodiac sign that actually got two that got double the energy double the strength double the leadership something is definitely on the horizon and this can be financially this can be your overall strength your health your overall well-being your career choices something dealing going on within your home this could just simply be you taking action and being adventurous but see like the lion my love you're taking it steady you're taking your turn to just ease your way through Taurus and that is your energy Taurus you have never ever been known to be the one that rushed through life or to rush through this relationship or to rush through a decision no just like the lion you are a leader but you are also very wise so you take your time when it comes to making life choices okay it says here that you are being guided to take back your power this one let's read it it says you are being guided to let go of emotional attachment and connect to divine inspiration flying high above the restraints of yourself once again having courage guys breaking away from what no longer serve you not trying so you know it says you're being guided to let go of emotional attachment and connect with divine inspiration flying high above the restraints of yourself in society look for moments of truth once again guys i feel like this is you in october seeking the truth digging deeper diving deeper looking beneath the surface what what is really happening for me like right like i feel like for all the gray hand of you this will happen in october for all gray hands of you this can be very well happening right now well, you're seeing the truth of a situation, the truth of, you know, your relationship with other people, friends, family members, people that are like pretending to have your back, but they really don't. Or simply people that are um, just not really showing you. Hmm. 
Let's skip that thought for a second. Look for moments of truth and act upon them from your elevated vintage point. Like I said, I feel a sense of transformation here. A lot of you are going from being the lion to being the eagle. Where, whereas you were always taking it slow and being cautious. Now you're like, up, oh, I'm doing me. You're flying away. Up, up, up and away. You're going away. You're doing your own thing. You're flying away. You're not worrying about who's behind you. You're not thinking about who tried to stop you. You're not thinking about who hurt you or try to devastate you. You're not thinking about that. See, that is the lion's energy, even though it's, that's why I'm saying to have courage. Because lions by nature are not the type to just rush and go after their prey. They take their time to nurture it. They, hmm, they got to seek and try to figure it out. And so even while yet you might still have this energy the first week of October when Pluto goes direct in your sister sign Capricorn, that will also be a lot to celebrate because now you get to finally be you. You get to express yourself. No more pretending to be something that you're not. No more trying to be the people pleaser. No more trying to be perfect though, okay? No more of that. You're, you are literally transforming. Going from being afraid to take a risk to being the risk taker. And in today's world, Taurus, you have to be willing to be the risk taker. Because there's so much, yes, there's so much competition out there. And there's so much to go after. So much. And everything that the universe has given us is all unlimited. There's room for you. There's room for me. We don't have to compete. But let's face it. A lot of people will try to compete with you, Taurus. It's happening with all earth signs. You guys, it is your turn to face reality. While I'm sitting here trying to be like this, the world is passing me by. When I could be more dominating and just simply fly over the world and go after whatever it is that I want and whatever it is that I deserve. From your elevated vintage point, balance, harmony, and joy can be easily found. Balance, harmony, and joy can be easily found. That means even in love, guys. You are going from being afraid to take a risk to being the risk taker. For some of you, you haven't elevated yet. And you're still trying to learn the lesson that was trying to be taught to you all summer long. And for some of you, you are getting to this place. So you should be proud of yourself. How do you know the difference? Are you still afraid to take a risk? <laughs> Are you not or do you not care to take a risk? Then that's you. But if you find that you are still afraid, then you still have some internal work to do. So, Taurus, let's get down to the nitty gritty, okay? Okay. So, the five of wands here is talking about, I mean, the five, yeah, the five of wands here competing in goals, okay? Conflict with others. Be mindful about the things that we share. Be mindful of the things that people say to you and how you respond. Okay, we have the moon card here in your present situation. This is really all about your emotions, guys, okay? Really all about your emotions. Things being hidden behind the scene, finding out things, releasing fears that no longer hold you back, okay? No longer being afraid to take risks. Because you need to now become the risk taker. You need to say, okay, if I put $50 into this, what can happen? You're going to think about it, pray about it, and you're not going to worry about it. You're just going to do whatever makes your, your spirit move, okay? Because energy needs to move. So no matter what you are manifesting, if you're not taking that risk, Right? And if you're not elevating, you're not trusting spirit to fully guide you, even after you made a decision, you still got some internal work to do. And that is what this moon card is representing at that time. 
okay events behind the scenes and release fears that hold you back my love okay and it could possibly for some of you your fear is that somebody else will be more popular than you somebody else can make more money than you but what you don't understand is that when you are being yourself you gain more when you are being authentic you gain more more love more respect more money more business interactions more everything you get it in return because you are being yourself you're not looking that way to see if you're being a people pleaser you're not worrying about oh um if this person is doing better than you um you're not worrying about that you're focused on your purpose and what it is uh, meant for it to be you. What is your purpose? What are you brought here to do? Every one of us has a purpose. What is your purpose? That is homework for today. I want you guys, when you're done with this, I want you to really think about that. What is my purpose? And if you are lucky enough to even know your purpose, what are you doing to maintain your purpose? What are you doing to make sure that you are being as authentic as possible? What are you doing? Are you Guys, for some reason, my video keeps getting cut off and it's not like as if my device is dying or anything. So I'm not sure why that keeps happening. Um, but I, I know that I was talking about the moon card here and how to express different emotions and you know, it's time to release fears that hold you back. You know, how you guys are moving from being afraid to take risks to actually being the risk taker. And, you know, what are you guys hiding? What do you need to work on? What do you need to fix? Are you sitting around looking at other people? You know, you can miss your blessings in so many ways by watching other people. Because their prize is not your prize and their blessing is not your blessing. So while, you know, a lot of you could be sitting around wondering what another person is doing, you're missing your own blessing. Guys, I want to share something with you. So, September 6th, Venus is going into Leo. That's going to kind of inspire a lot of us to kind of think a lot about love and, you know, to open up a bit about, more about love. Some of you may find that you are extra vulnerable at that time. September 9th, Mars goes retrograde. Oh, Mars is going to go retrograde in Aries. Jupiter is going to go direct in Capricorn. So over this summer, there were about four planets. Well, really three and a half, if you will, right? So they were like Pluto um, went retrograde in Capricorn. Saturn went retrograde in Capricorn. Jupiter is going to be in Capricorn until the end of the year, but it did still go retrograde in Capricorn. And then Jupiter's daughter, <laughs> Pallas, had also went retrograde in Capricorn. And so while Pallas is not as extreme as Saturn and Pluto with Jupiter, it still matters because it helps us with our feelings and how we approach things in our world. So being on a sign like Capricorn is like, hmm, what am, what am I missing? What do I need to work on? And now in the month of September, harvest season, Going into October, Jupiter will go direct, September 12th. Then we have um, a new moon in Virgo happening on the 17th. How amazing is that, right? So when I say that Earth signs are going to be really feeling themselves this season, I really mean that. Like, you Earth signs are going to be feeling yourself, okay? Uh, the 22nd, the sun will finally go into Libra, which may bring about some indecisive energy. So you will probably feel like you have a lot of decisions to make. But let's move on to the cards before I get on with the rest of that information, okay? The Six of Swords came out, guys. So this is definitely all about moving forward. Once again, that transformation is here. Going from being afraid to take a risk to being the risk taker. Ready for the transformation. Um, things going on behind the scenes, releasing fears that no longer serve you, releasing fears that hold you back. You're moving away from all of that energy, okay? And which is good, you know, again, because that I feel like that, com that competitive nature is going to be with you up until the end of the year. 
So I feel like you got a lot to prove. And you're going to do just that. But you need to make sure that you're doing it for all the right reasons. You can compete, but do it wisely. Okay? So instead of sitting around looking all sneaky, you want to just say, listen, this is who I am. This is what I'm about. And I'm not afraid to be me. So don't waste your time pretending to be something that you're not. Once again, you are being guided to let go of emotional attachment, releasing fears that hold you back. Don't give up, okay? Things are looking up. You are at the end of a difficult situation. Even if this is love, if this is finances, you are at the end of a difficult situation. Some of you may also decide to take a trip to go visit someone that you deeply care for, someone that you love. You may be invited to like a birthday party or an outgoing um, with somebody that, or a few people actually that you just haven't seen in a while. I would suggest at that time, I feel like um, this is going to be the perfect time for you to kind of open up a little bit and to network. So you might want to do that, you know, take in all the resources from your beautiful sister sign Capricorn. Um, they can be proven to be very resourceful. So you want to make sure that you get as much as knowledge as possible um, from that energy, my love, okay? Now, we are here with the King of Cups, which is interesting, overwhelming ideas overwhelming thoughts and feelings and feelings that you feel like you can't even control okay open your heart and mind to those around you like i said if you're going to compete be wise about it make sure that you're not competing with energy that can actually be helpful for you make sure that if you're going to compete that you're not turning your back against the good energy that needs to come in my love okay open your heart open your mind to you know try to be a bit more trustworthy um once again i feel like you're going to be receiving a lot of love and support between now and november okay a lot of love and support but it's going to be a lot of heartfelt advice here as well um it says here charity work so I don't know if maybe a lot of you will feel like, hey, I want to give back. You know, I want to be of service. I'm going to do something I've never done. Maybe you guys will have that energy. Either way, good thing is you have the world card. So you guys understand the principles of hard work. You understand that nothing is coming through with just sitting around and watching everybody else. You're willing to go to that um, um that um, temp agency you're willing to go to that birthday party you're willing to go to that wedding you're willing to go to that book signing whatever it is to help you get forward you're really ready to move forward you're ready to take that risk okay it says here a job well done contentment gratitude <laughs> Even in love, you're excited. You are excited for the new love that is going to be coming to you. For those of you that are coupled up, get ready for things in your love life to take a very positive turn. Okay? It says you are on the path toward enlightenment. Okay? Very beautiful energy, my love. Do not give up. It says here, don't give up. Protect that which you have created. Once again have courage guys you got that more than once here you got leadership more than once here releasing things that no longer serve you releasing fears that hold you back let go of emotional attachment okay it's all basically saying the same thing things are finally looking up for you and we can confirm that with the world card okay guys Listen, this is a very karmic lesson for a lot of you. You know, karma doesn't just come around when it's something bad. Karma goes both ways, good and bad. And you have served your purpose. So a lot of you, you served your purpose. And karma is on your side, your side of the bed. <laughs> Karma is your best friend this season. You are literally looking at the good side of karma this season. So that means new blessings, new money, possibly a new home, a new relationship for some of you. Like I said, it's all going to be different for each and last, last one of us, okay? Um, but yeah, the, your energy is like, it's shifting. It's changing, guys. It's changing. And it's changing because you realize that there is some internal work that needs to be done. And thankfully, you are ready for that change. Okay, so I already pre-shuffled your energy deck, so I'm just going to go ahead and 
pull some cards out. Let's see. Let's get some clarity over here, okay? For the Six of Swords. Let's get some clarity for the Moon card. All right. Ooh! Let's get some clarity for the King of Cups, okay? Some clarity for the... Oh, I don't know. Oh, your reading remind me a lot of some bodies, and I can't pinpoint it right now. I don't know why. Whew. All right. Release and will no longer serve you. That envy. I believe, I want to say Capricorn, but I'm not sure if Capricorn, I'm not sure if it was Capricorn, but I, oh my God, if it was Capricorn, listen. Go check out their, their reading as well, guys. It may be a message in there for you, okay? Release and will no longer serve you. Once again, there is some competitive energy here. But you have no need to be envious because you too are a powerhouse. You too can and will be successful if you believe, okay? You too can get the clarity that you also deserve, my love. I know for a lot of you. Now, this King of Cups here can also be love, guys. Now, if I have time throughout the month of September or October, I will do um, some extended love readings. But if you guys don't see me posting anything on YouTube, you may want to jot, you know, uh, not jot. That was the wrong word. <laughs> you guys may want to kind of jump in on Tuesdays. Okay, at 6 p.m. until further notice until, because I don't know if I may need to change my time or not. But for right now, you guys may want to jump in on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Instagram at G1 Insights. I'll post the link below. You may want to tune in if you guys don't see me posting anything about love here on YouTube, okay? Um, but for a lot of you, this could be love. You know, is there a deep decision you need to make? This could be about a lot of overwhelming feelings. Maybe you're feeling really emotional about this decision, you know, and maybe that's what this is all uh, about. On top of the Nine of Wands, don't give up. You have the Magician in the Mirror, which means that once again, you're going from being afraid to take a risk. And guys, can I show you that you keep getting these double confirmations? The Angel of Strength. Do you not see what I'm seeing here? double confirmations two different decks hello all right listen <laughs> leadership leadership guys listen let go of emotional attachment let go of emotional attachment release fears that hold you back things are looking up you're at the end of a difficult situation okay have courage believe in yourself you are on the path towards enlightenment i know that you are feeling a bit indecisive you may are you may discover that you are constantly having conflict with others lately even in your love life but once again believe in yourself things are going to work out my love is going to work out do not give up okay this is at the end of a difficult situation you have the angel of strength coming in and really helping you open your heart guys can i just close this out with you have the victory <laughs> to have victory in here with the king of cups with the angel of strength with the fact that you are definitely moving forward from what no longer serves you and the fact that you are feeling more motivated now than ever and that you are not ready to give up just yet combined with the fact that you are releasing your fears that have once held you back combined with your resources guys this is the world's card i want to say this has a sh very strong capricornian energy about it like resources that is what i keep hearing what are your resources who is around you or in your circle that you know that is resourceful you have the victory taurus leadership you're not this person anymore you're going from being afraid to take a risk to being the risk taker because now you're a lot more spiritual you're doing a lot more rituals taking better care of yourself networking nurturing your business and your finances nurturing your love life 
you're being more open-minded to good people out there that just simply want to be in your world. You're not worrying about the competition because now you have clarity. Now you know what you need to do. So don't give up. Don't give up, Taurus. I think I will name your video that this today. Like, don't give up. Taurus, I love you. I'm so glad that we finally was able to get through this reading without any interruptions. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, yeah, we had interruptions, but I'm glad we got through the rest of it without interruptions. Okay. So, this is a blessing. So, guys, I want to share something with you. Okay. About my candle line, Passion versus Pleasure. Please check it out, guys. This is a holiday candle, guys. For every holiday. Ooh. That actually smells so good. Okay, so for every holiday candle, sorry, it like whoo, woke me up <laughs> for a second. <laughs> for every holiday candle that you guys purchase, a dough portion will go donated to a family in need, guys. So uh, go to my website. You guys can choose to just simply donate. You don't have to purchase anything. Maybe you don't want a candle. Maybe you don't want to buy any particular products. Maybe you just want to simply be of service and donate right but for some of you you may say hey sure why not i want a candle and i want to donate you have the options to do that guys so when you go on my website you i literally actually just recently uploaded a video um about that about how to navigate through my page you guys should be able to not my page my website so you guys will be able to see how you can become a member how to donate the reasons why i'm doing this you guys will also be able to see all my social networks that i'm on you guys will also be able to see um, any updates if you subscribe to my website for like for emails and so um you guys can see so much from my website okay and if you would like a personal terror reading definitely message me email me or just simply click on um store and you guys will be able to book a person with tarot reading there and receive it in just a few days. So, guys, I love you. Please share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message. Until then, guys, I love you. 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 Listen, be good to yourself, okay? Because, yeah, in November, I want to see the changes because I know that it's coming and some of you are gonna take me seriously some of you gonna be like you know what yeah she's right I got a lot to <laughs> right and then some of you might be a bit hard-headed might not want to listen to me at all but that's your choice okay I gotta go Taurus but I thank you and I love you for your love and support bye